quarterback Bill Stanton. Auburn wins the flip of the coin and elects to receive. Now, don't go away from that television set because you're about to see the wildest offensive show of the year. Our All-American Game of the Week, Sugar Bowl conscious Mississippi State and Auburn. Auburn won the toss, elected to receive. Left half, Jim Harness kicks off for Mississippi State. James takes it on the 12. Swings back upfield behind his interference. Coming right up the middle is hit and dropped on the Auburn 33. The first play lost seven yards, so it's now second and 17. And it's Childress with the ball, picking up five as Davis and Stanton make the tackle. Auburn's ball, third down, 14 to go on their own 29-yard line. Handoff this time goes to Bobby Hoppy. Hoppy swing wide to the left, breaks outside a potential tackler and is up for seven yards. Harness making the stop finally. Oh, it's fourth down, seven to go now on the Auburn 36. Bob James back in punt formation. Ball is snapped, low pass, but James gets the way the kick. Jim Harness waits, takes the ball, starts up field, is hit hard by Elliott, fumbles, and left tackle Frank D. Agostino recovers for Auburn on the Mississippi State 36. Darrell Royal, the head coach of Mississippi, watching the action. First down, 10 yards to go now on the Mississippi 36. From the T formation, the pitch back this time to James, swinging wide to the right, cuts inside, beautiful blocking. Breaks to the outside, gets away from one tackler, but is tripped up after a gain of 17 yards. But the play goes for not as Auburn is penalized, 15 yards for clipping. Two plays later, we pick up the action. It's Auburn's ball, third and 13 now. On the Mississippi State 39, the fullback delay. Childress with the ball. Dodging tacklers, getting away from two men before being dropped on the draw play after a gain of 11 yards. Art Davis making the tackle. Fourth down, one yard to go now on the Mississippi 29. Ball handed off this time, and it's Bobby Hoppy again, swinging around left end. Look at those backs go. Finally spilled after a gain of five yards, but it's a first down. The line play picked up three, so it's now Auburn's ball, second and seven now on the Mississippi 21-yard line. The handoff this time to Childress over the right guard spot for three. Third and four. Auburn on the move now, trying to punch into that scoring zone. Quarterback Howell Tubbs calling signals, makes the handoff, but fumbles, and is recovered by right tackle Jim Barron for Mississippi State. And the Maroons make their own break this trip. And the Mississippi State fans are happy over that break. Following a three-yard gain, it's now Mississippi State's ball, second and seven, on their own 23-yard line. T formation. Ball handed off to the right halfback, Art Davis, on a quick opener over the right tackle spot for 11 yards. Maxine making the tackle, but not until they have a first down. First and 10 now. Mississippi's ball on their own 33. Key formation. Notice the three-point stance of the backs for Mississippi State in the backfield. Hand off quickly this time to the left halfback, Jimmy Harness, straight away at left tackle for a gain of three. Makes it second down, seven yards to go. Mitchell puts the ball down on the Mississippi State 36. Mississippi State shifting into a tight T formation. Right halfback, Art Davis takes this pitch out, swings wide around the left end. It is slowed up, cuts inside, hit and dropped after a gain of three by James. Both of these ball clubs laying a lot of leather out there today. A lot riding on this game. A long pass completion as we pick up the play. It's now Mississippi's ball. Second and six on the Auburn 30. Pitch back this time to Art Davis. Davis rolling out to the left. Passing downfield. Way down there and Bennett has it in the corner for the touchdown. Left end, Ron Bennett. Pulls in the pigskin and it's six points for Mississippi State. Try for the extra point. Morgan kicks. Kick is up, but it's no good. So the score is Mississippi State 6, Auburn nothing. Following the kickoff, we pick up the play. It's Auburn's ball, first and 10 on their own 30-yard line. Howell Tubbs pitching back out here this time. Too hard. There's a fumble. 
But it's recovered by Auburn for a five-yard loss. So it's second down, 15 now on the Auburn 25. The formation handed off to Bob James, the left halfback. James breaks to the outside, straight arms, one tackle. At the 40-yard line, cuts back up the sidelines. Look at that boy chew up the yardage. One man between he and the goal line, and he reverses his field. What slows down his feet is trucked from behind by Jim Ross. After a 61-yard run, he was really running, and he's a tired boy now. So it's first down, 10 yards to go now in the Mississippi State 14. Auburn fighting right back. The formation, eight-man defensive line. And it's Childress, the powerhouse fullback, into the center of the line for a gain of two. Billy Fulton piling him up there. Second down, eight yards to go on the Mississippi State 12. Bobby Hoppy takes the handoff from the right halfback position, follows his blocker, swings wide to the left, cuts inside, squirms forward for a gain of four. Another line play picked up the first down, so it's now first down, goal to go on the Mississippi State four-yard line. T formation. James, the ball carrier, over the center, fighting close, but not quite. Stopped on the one. So it's second down, goal to go on the Mississippi State one-yard line. Quarterback Howell Tubbs looks over the defensive lineup of Mississippi State. Calls the signal. Takes the handoff. Runs into one of his own men, but circles the left end into the end zone. Untouched for the touchdown. And Auburn is back in the ball game. Joe Childress converts now. Standing back. Ball is snapped. Placed. He kicks. And it's good. And Auburn leads by a score of 7-6. Following the kickoff, our first play with a flanker out to the left. First and 10 on the Mississippi State 27. Quarterback Billy Stanton back to pass. Has a lot of time. Passes. Beautiful catch by Levain Hollingshead. For 19 yards. Tackle made by Cook. So Mississippi State bouncing back. First and 10 now on their own 46-yard line. And Bill Morgan is thrown for a one-yard loss. On that play, then Preston making the tackle. Running play picked up five yards, so it's now Mississippi State's ball, third and six, just short of the midfield marker. Deep formation. Quarterback pitches back to Bill Morgan. Morgan out to the left, passes downfield, complete to Jim Harness. Clyde Adams coming up to make the stop as the quarter ends. And the score is Auburn seven, Mississippi State six. First down, ten yards to go now on the Auburn. 44-yard line. Pitch back this time, and it's Jimmy Harness swinging around the right end. Cuts back inside his blockers, and look at these backs run. Howell Tubbs making the tackle. Second down, a yard to go. Yard short of that first down. Line swings in there now. Eight man defensively trying to stop this running attack. Frank Sabatini finds a hole over right tackle. Good for six yards and a first down. Another line play picked up five. So it's now Mississippi State's ball. Second and five on the Auburn 22. Quarterback Bill Stanton jump pass over the center of the line complete to Hollingshead. Hollingshead still on his feet. Shaking away from tacklers is finally dropped. After a gain of 17 yards, James making the tackle. And the cheerleaders are egging the boys on. Two line plays have moved the ball to the two-yard line, where it's now goal to go. Jimmy Harness on a straight shot, takes it to the one. Can't quite get over those black shirts in there, knocking them down. So it's fourth down, goal to go now on the Auburn one-yard line. Tremendously tight line, and it's right halfback, Art Davis, power driving his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Conversion was no good. So it's Mississippi State 12, Auburn 7. And on the first play, it's Bob James trying to circle his right end, reverses his field, swings back to the left, trying to pick up blockers, cutting inside, and finally gets back for a two-yard loss by Don Cockle. So it's Auburn's ball, second and 12 now, on the Auburn 18. Liker to the outside, fullback Joe Chavres on the drop play. Looking at that blocker out in front, he's got him. 
And it's an 11-yard gain for Childress. Art Davis making the tackle. Auburn's ball, third down, one yard to go on the Auburn, 29. Childress again, the ball carrier this time, pile driving over his own interference for four yards at right tackle, and it's enough for the first down. So it'll be first down, 10 yards to go for Auburn on their own 33-yard line. Quarterback Jimmy Cook fakes the handoff, rolls back to the right. His rush passes down to the right flat. The pass is incomplete intended for Bobby Hopping. Line play picked up two yards, so it's now Auburn's ball, third and seven on their own 35. Jimmy Cook, the quarterback, this time rolling out to the left side. Spots Bob James downfield, passes. A nice catch. He's hit immediately by Art Davis after a gain of six yards. The Tigers now on the move. Fourth and one. Into the center of the line goes Childress, and he gets that all-important two yards and the first down. So it's first and ten now on the Auburn, 45. Quarterback Jimmy Cook rolling out this time to the right side, looking for a receiver. Catch spot one is hit and dropped by White Jerseys. A loss of ten yards, but Mississippi State is penalized for holding. Pass was incomplete, so it's second and ten now on the Mississippi State, 37. And it's Jimmy Walsh to pull back this time in there on the draw play. As he breaks to the outside behind his own blockers, cuts back in, and it's good for 34 yards. Bill Morgan finally made the tackle. So it's first down, goal to go now. On the Mississippi State three-yard line. Tight T formation. Ball handed to Bob James. James fumbles the ball, is hit and dropped as our field camera picks it up. A loss of 13 yards. So it's second and goal to go. Cook rolling back to pass. He's thrown for a 10-yard loss as the half in. Mississippi State has stopped this Auburn touchdown drive. And the score is Mississippi State 12, Auburn 7 at the end of the first half. It's halftime at Auburn, Alabama, where Mississippi State surprisingly holds a 12-7 lead over the Auburn Tigers. While the colorful homecoming pageant takes over during the intermission, fans in the stands are wondering if the Maroons can make their lead hold up and send them on their way for a Sugar Bowl bid. Three of America's greatest college running backs are performing this afternoon, Arthur Davis of Mississippi State, plus Auburn's bruising Joe Childress and Fob James. And like the man at the carnival says, don't go away, my friends. This is only the beginning. Only the beginning of one of the most dazzling offensive titanics in football annals. Joe Childress kicking off for Auburn. Art Davis waits for it, takes it on the eight-yard line, swings back upfield at the 15, at the 20. Turns to the sideline, cuts in, and is dropped on the 24 by Fob James. So it's first down, 10 yards to go. Maroons ball on their own 32-yard line. And the key play this time. Hit and dropped, but the lateral back to Harness goes all the way to the 25-yard line. No Childress making the tackle. T formation now. The ball is pitched back this time to Art Davis, and Davis runs hard over left tackle for a gain of six. Phillips making the tackle. Third down, four yards to go. On the Auburn, 37-yard line. Quarterback Billy Stanton, fading back to pass, has time, shoots one out to the right side. Bob James steps in between it. Look at him come down that sideline, and look at him eat up that yardage. Long, galloping strides, picks up the key block from Frank Agostinio, and goes all the way, 75 yards for a touchdown. And you can certainly tell there's nobody gonna stop him on that one. Conversion fails, so the score is Auburn 13, Mississippi State 12. Here's the play, first and ten, as Art Davis hits in at tackle for a gain of four. Mississippi State trying to get back in this ball game now. Frank Sabatini into the center of the line this time for three yards. Brackett making the tackle. Another line play picked up one, so it's now Mississippi State's ball, fourth and two, on their own 25. And Davis goes into punt formation and belts along one downfield. Bob James, the ball bounces off of his shoulder, picked up by Alton Shell. 
Tell coming back upfield. He's tripped up and dropped after a return of 13 yards by Jimmy Harness. So it's Auburn's ball. First down, 10 yards to go on their own 33 yard line. The Tigers working out of the T formation. Long count this time as Chalras takes the ball over the right tackle spot for a gain of seven yards. Frank Sabatini making the stop. So it's second and three now in the Auburn 40. Right half, Alton Shell on a quick shot at right guard for two more yards. The line play picked up the first down, so it's now first and ten on the Auburn 44-yard line. Quarterback Howell Tubbs fading the pass is Rush passes long downfield. He's out in front. And it's left in Jerry Elliott, and he too is off for the races. And another Auburn touchdown. The conversion was good, so the score is now Auburn 20, Mississippi State 12. Following the kickoff, it's first and 10 as quarterback Billy Stanton rolls out to the right, passes complete to Art Davis for seven yards before Hall Tubbs drops him. Mississippi State's ball now, second and three on the Auburn 49 yard line. The optional run this time by the quarterback, and Stanton keeps it. Gets through for six yards and the first down. First and ten now on the Auburn 43. T formation. Six-man defensive line by Auburn as quarterback Stanton takes the handoff. Swings to the right side. Is going to be trapped. Can't get the pass away, and is finally smothered for a 13-yard loss by Jerry Sampson. Both of these ball clubs really putting everything they have right on the line this afternoon. An incompleted pass, so it's now Mississippi State's ball, third and 24 on their own 44-yard line. Quarterback Billy Stanton pitching back this time. A pass out to the left side. Incomplete. T formation again this time as Stanton swings back to pass. Throws right out the right side on the screen to Art Davis. Davis has it. Picks up the blocker, still on his feet, coming down the sideline. And is finally tripped up as our field cameraman shows you how close he was to going all the way. Howell Tubbs made the tackle. So it's first and ten now on the Auburn 27 as Jim Harris cracks in on the straight shot at left guard for six more yards. And Mississippi State is on the move. Second and four this time. Jimmy Tate this time, the ball carrier. A gain of three before Agostini throws him back. Third down, one yard to go on the Auburn 18-yard line. And Harness, the ball carrier on the cross buck at right guard for two yards and the all-important first down. First down, 10 yards to go on the Auburn 16-yard line. And the pass this time to Ross, the right end for 11 yards. James making the tackle. The acrobatics there on the blocking. First down, goal to go now. Mississippi State on the move, and it's Jimmy Harness on the keep, going up to the one-foot line. The official said he wasn't over, touched just before going over. So it's second and goal to go. Harness this time, the ball carrier on the straight shot, and he's in that time for the touchdown. The conversion was good, so the score is now Auburn 20, Mississippi State 19, as the third quarter ends in a wild and hectic football game. Early in the fourth quarter, we pick up the play. It's first and ten now. Mississippi's ball on their own 29-yard line. Quarterback Bill Stanton fumbles. Recovered for Auburn by right end Jimmy Phillips. On the Mississippi State 28-yard line. And the Tigers take advantage of this break. First down, ten yards to go. Bobby Hoppy taking the handoff, swinging around left end. Look at that blocking as he cuts to the outside. Moves down the sideline. Tries to stay in bounds and is finally... Rudely bounced out after a gain of 25 yards by Art Davis. First down, goal to go on the Auburn four-yard line this time. And the drive. And he's in for the touchdown. Joe Childress, the powerhouse fullback of Auburn, is in there for the score. The conversion was good, so it's Auburn 27, Mississippi State 19. Following the kickoff, we pick up the play. It's Mississippi's ball, second and eight now, on their own 35-yard line. Bill Stanton, jump pass to the right side, complete to Jim Harness, eight yards, and that's enough for the first down. First and ten with a flanker out to the right side on the Mississippi State. 43, rolling back. Stanton trying to get this pass off. Fires downfield, it's low, incomplete, intended for Morgan. Second down, ten yards to go now. 
Flanker out to the right. Auburn in a seven-man defensive line. Ball is pitched back this time to Jim Harness. Harness turns the corner up right in. Has the blockers out in front of him and is finally necktie tackled out of bounds after a gain of 17 by Bobby Hoppy. But it's the first down, so it's first and 10 now. Mississippi State's ball on the Auburn 32-yard line. T formation. And it's fullback Frank Sabatini driving through the center of the line and look at that power. Goes all the way to the Auburn 19-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Pitch back this time, Billy Morgan trying to get a pass away, but is hit and dropped by Phillips and Dan Jean. Five-yard loss. Both of these ball clubs really playing football. Auburn, one of the top teams in the nation. Mississippi State right in there, too. Bill Stanton passes to Levain Hollingshead for 10 yards. Bob James again making the tackle. Mississippi State's ball, third down, five to go on the Auburn 14-yard line. Stanton pitches, Harness takes the pitch out, rolls to the right, passes downfield to Hollingshead, and the ball is bottled incomplete, almost intercepted. So it's fourth down, five yards to go on the Auburn 14, and this is it. You gotta get those five yards or turn over the ball. Bill Stanton fading back to pass, has the time. Downfield he throws, and it's complete. To left end, Ron Bennett for the touchdown. And Auburn now with the conversion. Being good, holds but a one-point lead. Auburn 27, Mississippi State 26. We pick up the play here now, and it's Bob James on the pitch out. Swinging around right in, following his blockers. Dropped after a gain of 10 yards, but it's enough for an Auburn first down. First down, 10 yards to go on the Auburn 48-yard line. Handoff this time goes to right halfback Alton Shell. Shell swinging inside with his blockers at left end. Six yards. Hart Davis making the tackle. The line play picked up a yard, so it's third and three now on the Mississippi State 45. Bob James breaking through center. And what a back he is for eight yards. Scott Stuber making the tackle. The fans here are certainly getting their action for their money today. First down, 10 yards to go on the Mississippi State 38-yard line. Alton Shell again the ball carrier. Look at those Auburn blockers out in front of him. Forced out of bounds after a gain of two at left end. Third down. Now, eight yards to go. T formation. The ball is handed off this time to Bob James, and watch this halfback really roll. A great runner as our camera picks him up in sheer power and motion. First down for Auburn. First down, 10 yards to go on the Mississippi State 20. Time ticking away. Quarterback Hal Tubb sneaks as the game ends. The final score, Auburn 27, Mississippi State 26. So Auburn wins the battle of the Southern Giants. The great Joe Childress with three extra points being the margin. The final score, 27 to 26. The game is being sent to our armed forces overseas. It really was an exciting football game, wasn't it? Very fine win for Auburn. A mighty tough loss for Mississippi State. But I personally believe that points out the evenness in college football throughout the nation this year. We've seen great teams come up against ball clubs that weren't supposed to win, yet we've had the upset. We have only three undefeated teams now left in the country, Maryland, Oklahoma, and West Virginia, with Michigan losing to Illinois this past week. But all three of these ball clubs still have games to go, so it could possibly be that they too will have a marred record before the season is over. You know Sports Vision's board of experts are going to select an All-American team at the end of the year. The 11 outstanding football players in the United States plus the coach of the year. And this is the prize or the present we have for each of the players as well as the coach. Through the courtesy of Landman for Men, this beautiful set of matched Samsonite luggage. Built strongest to last longest. So if you folks would like to help us out, just drop me a postcard to Hollywood, Tom Harmon, and see if you can't select your All-American team. That wraps it up for this week. Until next week, Tom Harmon bidding you all a very pleasant good evening for Sports Vision's All-American Game of the Week.